welcome to another episode of the Philosophy Podcast. I am your host, Controversy, and to my right, ladies and gentlemen, my co-host, none other than Mr. Darren Love. And together, we are the Philosophy Podcast. Thank you to you guys for tuning in to a brand new episode. Thank you for tuning in once again this week, guys. And like we always say, what is on the agenda for this week, mate? What is today's hot topic? That's it. I thought you'd let you pick this week. Well, <laughs> there was a rather controversial. There was. Think of anything. There was a rather. There was a rather controversial topic. Um. That I was thinking about. Oh, what's that? Um, because it's something that a lot of people have been talking about recently. The pros and the cons of it, um, and how it can also how it can be detrimental, and also um, have you know can also benefit some people. Um, and it was porn, of all things. Um, and the only reason I wanted to talk about it is because, like I said, a lot of people are talking about it right now at the moment. It's one of these topics that. A lot of people are are finally starting to talk about whether or not it's a positive thing or you know a good or a bad thing if, if in in society. You know, is it is it having a, a detrimental effect on society or is it having a positive effect on society or people? Um, and pe- these conversations are starting to be have starting to be had. Sorry, um, a lot more frequently these days. Um, so yeah, so, I thought I thought this week we, we so this week we're talking about pornography. Okay, that's a really interesting subject. Yeah. Very interesting subject. Like, I don't think they've just been talking about it today. Actually, they always have been century after century. Honestly, I think so. I mean, that's. I mean, how did we all get here, right, in the first place? Because your mum, your parents have had sex, mm. you know. And I mean, is there a difference but, between sex and porn? There, yeah, there definitely is. Because I mean, I, that's what I, I mean. I this personally, is why I, think I per- we need to talk about it. I personally think there is for sure because I think a lot of people get uh, have a misunderstanding that because like with porn right a large majority of porn is just fantasy shit it's not shit that a lot of people really do in real life if you yeah, see what I mean, I mean like when... because sometimes you got you got young men say for example that might be young watching a lot of porn and think they might see certain shit in porn and things like that and might think that they can get with their girlfriend who's relatively, you know, might be young like, you know, might be young and relatively inexperienced like he is and just start doing all this, all these things. Oh, it does pull that, in relation, it pulls in relationships. And it's, and sure. it's like, you've got to understand that that's, it's, it's, you know, porn, a lot of porn is scripted, like, you know what I mean? It's all, you know, they, you know, it's, you know, it's kind of like a film, essentially. It's, you know, I think it's, sometimes when you're during sex, because I mean, me personally, I've not had sex for quite a while. I'm going to be quite open today, okay? And I probably won't have sex to, again if if I'm lucky. I might have some sex again. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. I mean, but in my past, I'm, you know, I'm 58. Like I've said quite a few times now. Well, I'm nearly 58, coming up to 58. And in my past, I've had a number of girlfriends, and I've had. Well, I mean, when I first started having sex, you know, it's sort of like. A bit of a mystery because I've not done it before. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And then when you have another girlfriend, you're a bit more experienced by them. You feel like you can do a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. And then next girlfriend, I feel like I've had about fifteen relationships. You know. Yeah. I feel like I've been engaged three times. Mm. I've had two children. I'm sorry, three children, but that's from two different mothers. If you see what I mean. I feel like with my wife, I was with her 13 years, and we didn't do nothing. We did. We we had a lot of sex. Sex basically the first 10 years. It just the last three years it slowed down, you know. Mm. So I just feel like I'm quite experienced with sex in a kind of way. And sometimes when I was having sex, um, even after my relationship, um, my divorce, I've had a number of of relationships since. And I got even more experience and more experience with it in a funny way. But like I say, each woman is different, each man is different, and when they get into bed they're a little bit different. And I think they do fantasize sometimes in bed together, you know. Yeah, yeah. Mm. That's what I was coming down to. Mm. So like I feel like um what what when two people are privately together and they have sex together. It's kind of like 
very exciting, isn't it? It's very, it's one of the most enjoy, enjoyable things on earth, isn't it? Sex, let's have, uh, um, let's put it that way. It, it's got to be the, it's got to be better than dancing in a funny way, you know. Well, they say they say food and food and food and sex. According according to the scientists, they say food and sex are the two most desired things by human beings. And if that is if that is a completely true and completely factual statement, then you know, then you know, I you know, I could kind of agree with that. You know, you do you know. Yeah, I think it's just I think it's like a baseline desire. That's all it is, really. You know, um, yeah, for sure. But yeah, the, I I go back to the whole pornography thing and like like I think obviously with anything in life, it can have its, it can have positive and, and, and negative. You know, um, I think you know, it's, porn might serve a purpose for people out there who might not be might not be having as much sex, let's say, as they might like. If you see what I mean. And they're able to, you know, able to please themselves, so to speak. Get you satisfied. Know, get satisfaction from, you know, from, you know, um, indulging in such things. It's kind of an um, entertainment, isn't it? It's a kind of a pleasure, isn't it? And it's one of the, I suppose it's, porn is one of the most sort of like, um, Consume things. Well, it's one of the biggest businesses on the internet. Ah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, apparently, like, a, a large percentage of all traffic, of all internet traffic, is porn. Mm. Apparently, so. Mm. A large percentage. Like, over, so 50, I think, over 50%. I think most people love it. Mm. But there's a certain amount percentage that don't like it. But I think there's also people that get addicted to it, too. Oh, yeah. If you see what I mean, that really get addicted to it and you know it ends up becoming a bit detrimental you know it kind of ends up controlling their life you know well you know? yeah I, I, can, I can i i must admit sort of in my past i, I think i was sort of addicted to it you know mm. i loved it and i thought that's what, what was life life was all about mm. sex 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 you know mm. i wonder why my wife got rid of me <laughs> i was just sex mad mm. um yeah and i think they're all a little bit different yeah for sure you know like for instance, I don't think I was brought up to understand women or sex, you know, I didn't have any sex education mm. and I didn't have any um, guidance to understand what sex, you know, what, what the consequences of having sex is and things like that, or, you know, having a child and, you know, I didn't think about all that part, you know, I just feel like I just wasn't brought up as well as I could, could have been. Yeah. Um, mm. If I had parents that did divorce, for instance, when I was quite a young child, yeah, um, that were with me and taught me, you know, but I don't think my even my parents got taught if you see what I mean. So yeah. it, I think it just carries on. I don't think my my parents are educated, and I don't think their parents were educated. If you see what I mean, and it, you know, it's kind of like it's all down to education. I feel like. If I knew better, I wouldn't have rushed out there and got a, a girl pregnant like I did, mm. if you sort of mean, um, in no time. I mean, I met this girl and she kind of like wanted to get away from her parents. Yeah. Because they weren't very nice, whatever, you know, whatever. Mm. Mm. Um, so she kind of clinged on to me because I had my own flat. Yeah. The next minute, you know, she was sort of living with me and I felt sorry for her a little bit and I, you know, and then she next next minute we're having a baby together. Do you know mm. what I mean? And I thought, now when I look back, I thought, what did he have? Yeah, yeah. What, what, I mean? Why did I kind of do that? Uh, like, yeah, yeah, but you know, I can't regret my son. No, of course not. No, of course you not. You know, I love my son, but you know, I mean, I could have um, had a better life if I thought about it. You know, you have got to think about your future, and I never. Yeah. You see what I mean? Mm. My future went completely. <laughs> Out of the window. Well, completely like went like a banana in a kind of way, only because I didn't know, um, or nobody taught me, if you sort of mean. I think like if everybody was taught and loved that school a little bit better or whatever, or guided a bit better about sex and things like that, and the consequences of it, this would be a better And not only that, today. but choosing who you're going to have children with too. Yeah. Like... You know, it's like... Yeah, do you have a good sex o life? O you know? Obviously, you want to have a child with someone. Well, my thinking is anytime you have a child with someone, obviously you want to have a child with someone who you know is going to be a good parent. 
and somebody that you get on with. Yeah, someone that you get on with, exactly. Well, that's that's, that's, very that's important, one of the most, that's probably one of the, yeah, the most important things, you know, regardless of whether you're not in a relationship or not. And somebody that you feel comfortable with when you get into bed with, mm. if you sort of mean, and she feels comfortable with you, you know. And, you yeah. Know, both, both. Love, love is, only works when both of you are working at it. Yeah. It should be like, it should be, in all honesty, right now that I'm older and I'm, I'm older and I got a bit more like in perspective and everything, like I'm big on like, I think people should like couples, like especially couples that've been like together for a couple of years or whatever, and, and might be thinking about having kids and getting married and all that other, you know, all that other type of stuff. Um, I think these are conversations that they should be having. They should be having these conversations, like yeah, you know, be, between each other's like, okay, do you want kids? Yes, okay, I would like kids too. How many kids would you like? Okay, yes, okay, you know, I'm kind of open to that too. You know, I don't mind that. You know, she might say, oh, I want two kids, and he might say, oh, that sounds great. I'd like quite like two kids. Too. I quite like the idea of that. Um, and it's like, okay, but you know, are you ready to have kids now, or should we, you know, just be, you know, be careful for now, and you know, live our lives, and then try to build up a little, you know, build ourselves up a little bit, and then maybe in a couple of years have kids when we're a bit more stable, and then, you know, if you see what I mean, it's all about. I think you should kind of, as a couple, especially young couples, like if you if you plan to be together for like long term, like if it's a serious long term relationship, and you're already thinking about these type of things, you should be having these conversations about, you know, am I. You know what? Where do we both stand on these on these things? You know, are we compatible in regards to what we want our future to hold? If you see what I mean, what where we see ourselves in the future? If you see what I mean, like, are we both compatible in terms of the way you know in our thinking? You know, in in what we both want out of life. Um, and I think those are very 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 important conversations to have. You know, right. um, between a man and his woman. You know, you've got to be able to discuss these things, and you know. Um, yeah. I feel like um, when I got married and I, I felt I fell in love, do you know what I mean, with this woman. Yeah. And very beautiful woman. But the thing is, she was deaf, you know, mm. she, didn't, she didn't really have uh, much here. She had 15% left in one ear and deaf in the other. And that was difficult for me to have sort of like those sort of. Communication. Yeah. yeah. But the other thing, I, I really was a person that was learning and as I went along. Yes, yeah, in mean? the moment, yeah. I was a person that was learning as I went along, rather than somebody actually telling me beforehand, if you sort of mean, mm. so when I was a child or whatever, as I was growing up, you know, I, I was, had to learn for myself, I think. Yeah, first hand. Well, I've always had to learn for myself, that's the truth. I had to yeah. be my, my own father, really not, like, because yeah. I didn't really have a father. Yeah. And I just feel, um, yeah. I just had to learn for myself, you know, and I feel like I've made some really, really big, quite big mistakes. But when I look back, I think, well, I've got a son now, he's 31. Um, I see him sometimes. And how can I regret some of these little mistakes I've made? You know, so, so we're talking about porn today, you know, and it's sort of like, when when I first met this girl, and she was sort of like sleeping, and it was so kind of nice, do you know what I mean, having a woman Cutting them up to me and wanting to get away from our parents in a kind of way, and then it sort of got as weeks went by, you get closer and closer until you end up having a baby. And then, three years down the line, you know, she's met somebody else, do you know what I mean? And it's kind of like disastrous in a kind of way, only because you had one, you know, three good minutes of good fun, and I made her pregnant, yeah. So you got to think about what you're doing. Yeah, of course, yeah, you yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I wish I could go back in time and change things a little bit, if you see what I mean, be a bit more sensible. Because I didn't realise, like, what life was. Like, when you're at school, you don't you only learn about life and the system and all this, you know, and everything. Yeah. When you're in it. Yeah, it's true. When you, when yeah. you finish school. Mm. And learning about sex for yourself in a kind of way because you're doing it, experiencing it for the first time when you're 16, 17, or some people, I mean, me personally, I think I'm, I was about 15. Um, and yeah, and it, I can remember actually sort of like um, when I was 11, 12 maybe, and my mum won this te television she used to work at a, a company called 
British, well, BAT, that's British American Tobacco. Mm. And sometimes she entered these competitions, whatever, and she won this little black and wet white telly, and she yeah. gave it to me and my brother. Yeah. And sometimes, I mean, I was watching it and things, and sometimes I'd watch topless women. Yeah. Right, and that really turned me on mm. at a young age, honestly, mm. yeah. And I can remember having an orgasm once without touching myself, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Just watching yeah. a woman. Yeah. Right, it excited me. Yeah. You know, being honest here, you know, we talk about more and I thought, you know, yeah. I was going to be honest about my childhood. Yeah. But I'm thinking sort of like these films, it's on after eight o'clock, but there I was in my bedroom watching TV, if you sort of mean, and watching adult stuff, if you sort of mean. Yeah. Picking up adult stuff. Yeah. And I think it sort of like poisoned my mind where, like, when I did go into the real world, and I did meet real girls. I wasn't so natural with them mm. because I, you know, I've already done it in a kind of way. Not, you know, like I've already had sex accidentally by watching movies. If you sort of mean things like this, you know, it's it's not my fault in a funny way that this happened. Mm. You know, so you know, you're watching a lady on on a, you know on in black and white. Yeah, she's taking her clothes off, and here I am getting excited as a boy. It's like you get excited watching cartoons, if you sort of mean. Mm. And you can see this sort of like, this is just the start of TV. This yeah. is when TV started coming in, like talking about maybe 45 years ago. Yeah, long time ago. And then next minute, sort of decade later, a lot of children have got TVs. Yeah. And then next decade, well, now this decade, every, you know, everyone's got phones. Well, I was going to say, social, um, I was going to say porn yeah. is, is almost everywhere now today, mate. Yeah. Like social media. Mm. Um, you know. Yeah, and you got children taking. You don't. You don't, you, you, don't, you don't. only have. You don't only have it like on like porn, porn, like on the internet. You also have like you know all the social media and all that type of shit today. Where, you know, you've got women who are almost you know ne next nothing on. If you see what I mean, mm. it doesn't it doesn't leave anything to the imagination whatsoever. Um, and it's you know. But like they say, it's it's. I, don't, I think it's a double-edged sword, you know. Like they say, sex sells, you know. And marketing companies know this as well, you know. That's why a lot of brands, you know, they were, you know, sometimes they will allude to some kind of sexual thing, if you see what I mean, you know. When they're marketing their products, you know, they market it in a way that's, you know, because um, like, you know, certain things, you know, set, you know, sex does sell, especially when it comes to like music and other things today, popular music today. Um, well, the actors get paid a lot of money too. Oh, true, yeah, Because yeah. I know, because yeah. I used to get paid a lot. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I wouldn't. No, I don't. So that's one thing I wouldn't be either, do you know what I mean? It's, that's but I, 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 well, I don't know, mate. I, think it's, I was going to say, the few, people, the few times that I've ever come across any interviews, yeah, with old porn stars and shit, right? They've always had negative things to say about the industry, to be honest. Or, uh, not that I've watched many, but a few times I've been on on YouTube, let's say, for example, watch, um, watching something on one of these webs uh, on one of these YouTube pages or something, and then autoplay obviously comes on, and you might watch the next video. And it's once or twice years ago, I remember when these, you know, old these porn stars that have retired porn stars or whatever, they were doing some interview, you know, or something. Um, and I remember watching a little bit of it, and it was like they were just all kind of having like you know, like I said, negative things to say. Like it was a bit of a degrading industry, really. They were really, you know, you know, not very like you know, not very well paid. Just you know, mm. um, yeah. yeah. Now, when it comes to sex, what's important is both parties or um, consenting to. Oh, of course, yeah. That's what's important. Yeah. yeah. It, Sex becomes horrible when rapes involved and things, isn't it? Well, that's yeah. Those people and, deserve to be strung up. Um, ha having sex with naive girls as well, you know, that are really young, underage, and all that is very sick too. Yeah, they need to be strung up too. And, but it's a problem in our world, you mm. know. It's where in it, it, it is. It's a and, but they, and they also say that and they do say I have watched something as well not long ago that's the, the people are basically saying that the porn industry basically um, inhibits child trafficking and all these various different other things as well mm. um, apparently as well that apparently a lot of money that's made of porn you know it contributes towards you know human trafficking and child trafficking and all these things unfortunately um, 
and a lot of people have been talking about this as well. Other people have I've seen a few other people, a few other interviews where people have been talking about this, where they've been, you know, basically explaining all the cons of porn. Essentially, you know, that it, it can contribute. You know, the the revenue that is attributed, for, uh, tri um, sorry, not attributed, accumulated from it. Some of it goes towards, you know, child trafficking and all these awful things. Um, that you know, that you know, no, you know, as as a good human being, you would never want anyone else, another human being, to have to experience anything like that. If you see what I mean, to never have to have to experience anything like, you know, to, you know, that's it's, it's, it's that's a horrific, awful thing to have to endure and have to, um, you know. And if people that do survive those things, they they, you know, you know, you know how many years of their life they spend trying to overcome that trauma. Long time. Sometimes these people don't even heal. Not all of them don't heal, mate. Some people it might take them a long time to heal, and then there's other people that won't heal. End up doing something, you know, something awful to themselves because they just can't take the trauma. If you see what I mean. Well, of, um, of, of what was, of what it, was, what was done to them. It's not just that. Yeah, I'm not going to go deep into my personal life. Yeah, but my mum and dad divorced. Yeah, when I was about. I think I was probably about five. Yeah. But something dramatic happened when I was three, right? But I don't want to really go deep into it, right? Mm. It's a bit personal, really. But it, um, it was so dramatic, my dad divorced my mum, basically. And it, it was basically because she was insulted, okay, by another man, right, whatever. And it, it affects me and my brother all our life in a funny way, what happened to her. Okay, she was raped, okay? Mm. And that's one thing I've had to sort of like, it, it don't just affect the person, mm. have, you know, it also affects the... The family. Yeah. yeah. The loved ones. Yeah, yeah, big time, you know. Can you go imagine if that, you know, your your mother, that, that happened to your mother, do you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. It really does something to you angrily. You know, as you're growing of up, course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. when you find out, because mm. I didn't know when I was sort of 16, you know, I thought I found out as my, you know, I was growing up, mm. Mm. if you sort of mean. Yeah. And yeah. then later on, I met, like, I was talking about the girl that I met, you know, and she moved into my flat, and I fell in love with her. She was being abused big time, and from the age, from age of nine or something, you know. It was dramatic when I was finding out about this as I was sort of like having a relationship with it. It's horrifying. As our time was going on, she was telling me story after talk, story, you know, that, that day after, week after week, whatever. And um, she was made pregnant at the age of le um, 11 by her stepdad. It's awful. Yeah, it is, you know. And, um, awful, man. She was five months pregnant and she was kind of like, 11 year old in love with our own stepdad yeah yeah that kind of relationship it's quite weird That's and crazy. when she had she told me right when she had the baby bought aborted when in five months she didn't want to have an aborted because she loved the baby so can you imagine sort of meeting a woman all right and you didn't really know about that because when when i met her she wasn't pregnant you know she didn't have any rings on her and everything you know what i mean she was a very young girl I think I met her when she was 18, and she's been abused like that, like, five years before, if you saw what I mean. So it's quite dramatic, if you saw what I mean, that, I mean, this happens a lot in society. It happens, yeah, un unfortunately, mate. It's, I think uh, I had one of the worst cases, in, you know, not, not in history, I don't think, but it wasn't a nice... Very shocking. Well, it's quite shocking for me to meet a girl. Out of all girls. And had a relationship with her. Well, out of and then, all girls. And then find out, find out later on, find out later on after you're already in a relationship, when you find out about all those things. Well, I think it must out. be one in a thousand girls, well, Might one be in a million, maybe, you know, that gets sort of like um, pregnant by her own stepdad. Well, probably more than that, unfortunately, I don't unfortunately mate. I don't we live know. in a world. I don't, like, I, 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 unfortunately, we live in a world full of sick people. You know, it is very sick. I wish that they could just get rid of those people. You know, once they find them guilty and they know for sure that they are one hundred percent guilty of committing that type of crime, they should just get rid of them, mate. They should make an example. Because once you make an example, I know it sounds horrible, mate, to say that, right? Some people might think that 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 sounds even that sounds horrible too. What I just said, but I think personally, those type of people, mate, yeah, you make an example out of them, mate. You, you, once you know for sure, like I said, you've got to make sure for sure that they're 100% guilty, and once they've been found guilty, 
they should get rid of those people, mate. String them up, you know. Because once you start, once you start doing that, it will be a, de a deterrent to other sick people, you know. Because it's not most human beings are good, good, good-hearted, loving, peaceful, sure. kind, pe polite, sure. respectful people. Most people you know are. what it is. But you, of course, you get, you get, you get, you do get depraved people in society, yeah. um, and that's just a fact, as we know. But those type of people that do commit these heinous crimes, you just got to get rid of them. Just get rid of them so that anyone else that, any other sick bugger out there that might have any kind of thoughts like that or any kind of things, then he will think twice about, about you know, acting on his thoughts because he knows that, you know, if he gets caught, he's, you know, he's, you know, he's getting up in smoke too, mm. you know. Well, there's a, it's, it's, I think the world's a bit complicated, okay, and like... Because um, like, you've got kids. And yeah. I've got kids. Yeah. And if anyone was to ever touch any of my children in any way, any way shape, or form, mate, mm. I would happily go and sit down in prison for the behind that. If you get what I'm trying to say, I'm not going to go. I, I, I think people yeah, so can right. kind of pick sense, sense from sense when I say that. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm not, not going to say what I'll do, but I'm just saying you can pick sense. But I'd happily go and again do 15, 20 years in prison behind. You know, save your daughter, yeah. Behind her, if someone was to hurt any of my children in any way, mate, and I was to, I, I was to know who it was and know where they were, you know what I mean, and I could get access to them, you know. Mm. Now, nah. you know that person be in, it'd be in a lot of trouble, mate. That's what it, the best way to put it. They won't even know what's coming. So there's like they won't know what's coming their way, mate. There's know? lots of different people out there. Mm. There really is, you know. Some people are, want want a family. Mm. They want to settle down and have children. Do the best for their children and see their grandchildren grow up and all that kind of stuff. Do the right thing, but some some people don't even want to get married, or some people can't even have children. You know, or I don't know. It's just, and I th I feel like set as I said through history, man has loved sex. Okay, it's one of the things that we kind of drive for. That's why I've not, you know, it's one of Thing in that it's part of nature, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's natural, yeah, yeah. 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 It's yeah. our instinct, sort of it like 